All right, let's look at this lesson. I'm going to show you in an original song that I came up with. Uh, a couple of reasons for doing this. Uh, one, one thing, it's actually, to me, it's more enjoyable playing melodies or songs than uh, maybe learning scales or theory. Uh, it's another waltz song, so that's something I haven't done a lot of. And I wanted to show you uh, on the course that I came up with it's got uh, pretty complicated. It, I have several chords. And I just want to show you some different ways to play those. Now with this one, we'll have a uh, backing track available for this on our Patreon site. So we'll uh, link to that if you, if you want to check that out and help us out there. So uh, again, uh, it's something that I come up with. And like I said, it's just a... Uh, a pretty melody and hopefully like I said on the course I'll show you some pretty pretty complicated chord progression and some maybe different ways to think about some positionings of your chords which is what I, I stress a lot too is learning your fretboard and also I had a, a kind of a little different counterpoint type uh, lick and then I'll show you that so it starts out real basic and I'll play the first part and talk that out Now on the cover that I did for this, I was using my Profex with uh, a little bit of delay and reverb. So I'm gonna play this a little drier in this mix here. So maybe you can hear the notes a little better. So uh, we're in the key of G and we're simply gonna play five and six and then six and seven with the B pedal. That simply walks up two frets. Okay, and another thing I want to stress on this is you can do like approaching tones. I did maybe uh, some lessons on that. You can also do that with melodies. And what I mean by that is this. The way you're doing your bar like that, you can, uh, kind of embellish a song or a melody by, by either playing one fret below or one fret above a lot of times. So we played five and six here at the third fret, six and seven with B pedal down, leave the B pedal down, go to your fourth fret, fifth fret, and then I did that, what I was talking about with the approaching tones, it just went four, five, four, five. Okay, and then the little counterpoint thing that I was talking about is a little bit different. Uh, you go to your uh, sixth fret, play seven and eight with your F knee lever in, release the knee lever, and then play then play that with your ED flat knee lever in. So it's seven eight at the sixth fret, F knee lever in. So it's seven, eight, six fret, F knee lever in, release the F knee lever, and then engage your ED flat knee lever. And then we go to our eighth fret, eight, 10, no pedals, no knee levers. Go to your seventh fret, same group, eight, 10, with your F knee lever. So now we have this. Okay, now we're going to take that same type of sound. And we're going to play that in the D now. Again, we're using that. where we're dropping down, coming back. So let's go to uh, our second fret, just leave A and B pedals down, go second fret, 
Third fret on five and six. Drop back, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret. A and B down throughout the whole lick. Okay, now we're gonna do, uh, talking about approaching tones, it's kinda like a, almost a Hawaiian type lick. We're gonna resolve the G, but we're gonna go to our second fret, pick five, six, eight, and then slide it up through the third fret. So now we have this. Okay, it's simply gonna repeat the first part again, which was this. Okay, the little chorus, we're gonna go from C to F, third fret, play five and six, B pedal already in. As soon as you play that, pedal in with your A pedal. While that's ringing, pick two, four. Then slide all of that to your sixth fret, A and B pedals, E, D flat, and E left fret. Now while that's ringing, I played my second string again, then lowered it a whole tone. Okay, so that was a C to an F seventh. Now the song goes G to A. Okay, now we have a G right here at our sixth fret where we ended. We play A pedal, F knee lever, play four, five, six as a group, then two, five, six, and eight, a pedal, F knee lever still down. Five, six, and eight is a groove. Then it goes to an A seventh. Play five, six, and nine as a group here at the fifth fret, then add four. Okay, then it goes to C to a B. Okay, then go to your eighth fret, play six and eight, and then play five and six at your seventh fret, slide it to your eighth. That's over the C. You simply go back one fret now to your seventh fret. That's gonna be a B. Play five, six, and nine, that's our B seventh, then add four. Okay, so now we've gone from C to F, G, A, C to B. Now it's gonna go from an E minor, or E minor seven, to A. Okay, now we can do all that right here at our eighth fret. We can get our E minor by playing five, six, eight with the E D flat and E lever in. While that's ringing, you press your A pedal and pick four. And you can even, while that's ringing, to get the A chord, we can play, just release everything and have your A pedal and your F knee lever down. So we ended up with five, I mean, four, five, six, and eight ringing with A pedal, F knee lever here at the eighth fret. 
That's an A chord. We went from E minor. Released everything at A pedal F knee lever. Okay, so that part of the chorus sounds like. Okay, then it goes. Okay, and that's played. Uh, second fret, A and B pedals down. Play five and six, move it to the third, add your second string while that's ringing. Then add four. Then this little lick here. That's played three, five, eight, second fret with A and B pedals and ED flat knee lever, knee lever in. Slide that to the third fret. Okay, so when you get to your uh, third fret, release A and B pedals, leave that ED flat knee lever still in. And go to your first fret, those strings will still be ringing three, five, eight. When we're here at the first fret, all we have is the F knee lever in. Okay, real quick again, that's three, five, eight. That's the group we're dealing with. Second fret, A and B pedals, E, D flat knee lever in. Slide it to the third fret. Release A and B pedals. Keep your ED flat knee lever still engaged. Then slide that to the first fret. Same group, three, five, eight, with F knee lever only. Then it ends four, six, ten, second fret. Slide that to the third fret. Again, we're util utilizing those approaching chords, approaching tones. We did it here. We did it also there. Okay, so then it repeats the chorus. And I, the only thing I did different Okay, so the first part is exactly the same. So and I'll talk it through real quick. It's, it's C to F, so your third fret, five and six strings, B pedal down, pedal in with A, then pick two, four. Go to your sixth fret, four, five, six, A and B pedals, E, D flat, knee lever in. Play your second string, then lower it a full tone. Now it goes to G. You can play four, five, six here with A and F knee lever in. Play two, then five, six, eight as a group. Now what I did different, or you can do different, it goes from that G to an A. You can play your A here at the eighth fret, Five, six, eight with your F knee lever in. Okay, then it goes to the C part, which is the same. The B seventh is the same. Now, I did the E minor different. I, I, I did this part. Okay, so we have an E minor here at the third, at the eighth fret, five, six, and eight, and then I slid that to the tenth fret, A and B pedals down, seven, 
six five four. Okay, because I know the next chord is going to be an A7. I can get that right here at the 10th fret by simply what I just had, just release the A pedal. So I ended up here at the 10th fret with four, five, six, seven with B pedal, E, D flat, knee lever. Now, there's a little distance with that seventh string, so I muted that with, with a pick. You can let it ring or you can kill it. Just touch it with your thumb pick. Okay, then this, the ending, the little tag was just like before. And I did this lick, a little Lord Green lick. That simply starts out this, the same way. Five and six at the second, A and B down, slide to the third, pick two. Then pick four while that's ringing. So it's five and six, second fret, A and B pedal down, slide it to the third fret. While that's ringing, pick four. Two, four. Okay, now here at the third, we've got A and B pedals and our ED flat knee lever in. You pick three, five. Three, five as a group. Eight, three, five. Then release A and B. Go your first fret, same group, three, five, eight, with F knee lever only. Four, six, ten at the second fret, no pedals, no knee lever, slide it to the third. So I hope you enjoyed this. I think you can, you know, back this up and work work it through. It's just in sections. You have you have the melody. So that's the verses. Then the chorus. I just showed you some different ways to play those chords, but you're going from a C. F7, G, A, C, B7, E minor, A, C, uh, D7, So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, just a little melody I come up with. Two reasons for showing you, uh, well, several reasons. The grips weren't that complicated. Showing you how to use approaching tones, like one below frets. The majority of these, like, we, we came one fret below our, where we were gonna resolve. Shows you how to use that. Also on the chorus, the uh, chords were pretty complicated showing you some different ways to play those voicings and some different positions for the chorus. So uh, let me know what you think about it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video lesson on the original song that I came up with. Uh, there'll be a backing track available for this one on our Patreon site. So you can click on the card or the link in the description to get you to that and help us out monetarily also. Uh, if you like the video, if you want to like and subscribe, we, we appreciate that. If you want to get notifications when Jacob posts new materials, you can hit the bell icon for that. 
And uh, if you want to check out any of the equipment we're using, you can go to the Amazon link in the description. So as always, we appreciate you. Hope you enjoy what we're doing here at Steel Picking. And for Jacob and I, just want to tell you, keep picking.